first one is uh, somewhat weird. A lot of people are not going to run into this, but for people that do, they're going to be very confused, and it's going to be super frustrating. So, <laughs> um, and that's that's a that's basically what a PSA, a good PSA, is yeah, exactly that is. But, it is. So, um, so if you're using a local hex, if you've got a local beta flight hex that you have, so for instance, if you're part of the Street League mm -hmm. and you're trying to flash the Street League local hex on your beta flight configurator 10.9, mm -hmm. um, if you uh, I don't have one, basically at the top there, you see how you've got choose a board and choose a firmware yeah. version. If, if yeah. you leave those saying choose a board and choose a firmware version, okay, okay, and then you pick a local file. Yeah, what happens is it. It doesn't have the correct um, uh, default configuration, right. the custom defaults, right. um, to be applied. So, it, like, it right. picks them. It seems to pick them from those dropdowns, but it picks them too early. Yeah. So, essentially, so um, it will fill in. We're going we're to demonstrate this. Input. Okay, great. Yeah, I want to demonstrate this So, because uh, I apologize that I didn't download this beforehand. But I feel like this, this needs demonstration. So, hold on. Downloads. Okay, so we got a we got a hex file here. So I'm gonna go. Okay, I'm gonna load my custom hex. I'm not gonna load it from online. I'm gonna do load firmware local. Here's my hex file. Okay, okay. Now I'm gonna hit flash firmware. Right? No. Yeah. Right. Uh, what I need to do is I need because if I do, it won't know what custom defaults to apply. So I'm gonna pick my target. Okay, great. Let's do that. But have I already screwed up, Blunty? Uh, Am I? I'm not sure. It's not clear to me whether which step it loads the custom defaults at. The safest way to do it would be to pick your target before you load local. Okay, so I want to pick the target. Then yes. I want to hit load firmware local and pick the hex. And then I want to flash it. And then at the end, do apply custom defaults. Yes. And the issue is that if you don't select the, the target here, and if you just flash the hex then when you apply custom defaults, you won't have a working flight controller. And that's caught some people out. Yeah. Um, Joey yeah. W of the chat says, wouldn't you just put in commit number, use older configurator for an older hex? It's not an older hex. It's a hex. I mean, it, may, it is, but it's a hex specifically built for someone with different code in it. So it's right. not like something you can enter in the configurator to pull. It's something you would like pull from a repo and then manually flash with that load, yeah. bu load local button. So, and so this the, will be fixed in 4.5 because apparently in 4.5, they say at least here, 4.5 will no longer have custom defaults. But weren't custom defaults like important and a part of the you know, generic targets architecture? All They're not getting rid of generic from, targets. All I can tell you from my information here is if you scroll down on that, uh, we have an issue uh, on beta flight configurators github and if you scroll down hashlingus's answer is firmware four five no longer uses custom defaults well it's got to still use generic targets it must just be doing something else other than custom defaults but anyway uh if you want to read more about this you can read more about it here uh here in this well there's not very much there but uh yeah, it did surprise me the first time I learned that when flashing a local file, you still need to select a target because, yeah, I, yeah these did, but to, you do. It seems to just pull the info in the wrong place because it automatically, mm -hmm. once you hit flash, it fills in the correct firmware, like info, because it pulls it from that local hex. As mm -hmm. soon as you hit flash, it like fills it in. But mm -hmm. before that is when it sets custom defaults and it doesn't have the right info. So it's just like, yeah. it almost like it does it at the wrong it, time. Well, the, the hex files are generic targets. So they're like yes. F722. You can't finish the board configuration until you select the specific target and apply custom defaults. Yeah. Yeah. So, uh, and, so anyway, the little PSA yeah, there. Yeah. And the thing that, like you were saying, the thing that makes this annoying is that when you, it totally makes it so essentially like soft bricks, the flight control, you can't boot anymore. You have to hold the boot button to get into DFU because yeah. if, if it applies the wrong defaults, it's basically unassigning things to let you connect over USB is my understanding. Oh, it's sort of, it's so sort you, of after you screw generic. this up, USB doesn't work. And then, and then yes. people who don't know say, ah, I bricked my flight controller. It's ruined. I'm out $70. And it's like, well, just hold down the DFU button. It'll be okay. And then we get the combination of, oh, you, and you've also soldered a receiver onto UR1, so now you have to desolder the receiver onto UR1, even though you're holding the boot button. So it sort of gets a little messy for people. So, yeah. yep, just so you know. Okay. That's a piece. Okay. Of